designated in 1733, Bowling Green is the oldest public park in New York City. While the park itself has undergone much change, it is still surrounded by its original iron fence built in 1771. Trinity Church has been part of New York City since 1697 and was the first Anglican church in Manhattan. The current building is the third on the site and was consecrated in 1846. Trinity has always played a key role in the city. George Washington prayed there after his inauguration as president in 1789. His aide, Alexander Hamilton, founding father of the United States, founder of the Treasury, the U.S. Mint, the U.S. Coast Guard, and the New York Post, is buried here, as is War of 1812 naval hero James Lawrence. Located close to the World Trade Center, the church played an important role in hosting recovery workers after the attacks of 9-11. Federal Hall National Memorial was built on Wall Street in 1842. It is the spot where George Washington took the oath of office as first American president on April 30, 1789. The site was also home to the first Congress, first Supreme Court, and first Customs House in the country. Across from Federal Hall is 23 Wall Street. On September 16, 1920, the building was the site of the Wall Street bombing, in which 38 people were killed and hundreds injured. The building received heavy damage, visible to this day on the outside of the building. Then the headquarters of J.P. Morgan, the company said it would never repair the damage in defiance to those who committed the crime. From about the 1690s until 1794, both free and enslaved Africans were buried in a six-acre burial ground in Lower Manhattan, outside the boundaries of the settlement of New Amsterdam. Lost to history due to landfill and development, the Negro's burial ground was rediscovered in 1991 during construction of a federal office building. The African Burial Ground National Monument now sits behind that building at 290 Broadway and contains the remains of more than 419 Africans. Historians estimate there may have been 15 to 20,000 burials on the original site. The discovery highlighted the forgotten history of African slaves in New York City. By the Revolutionary War, New York had the second largest number of slaves in the U.S. after Charleston, South Carolina. Doyer Street is a short street in the heart of Chinatown with a sharp bend in the middle. The bend in the street became known as the Bloody Angle because of numerous shootings among the Tong gangs of Chinatown that lasted into the 1930s. It has been said that more people died violently at the Bloody Angle than at any other street intersection in the United States. The Nam Wah Tea Parlor, in business since 1920 and the first to bring dim sum to New York, is still in operation. If you find yourself in Central Park on a summer Thursday afternoon, check out the Broadway Show League on the Heckscher Fields near Central Park West and 63rd Street. Since 1955, casts, crews, and orchestras of Broadway and off-Broadway shows have played softball in the league. The 14th Street subway station in Union Square underwent major renovations in 1910, and platforms were abandoned. Remnants of the old 1904 walls are on display in the passageway over the downtown local platform. Toynbee tiles refer to a series of mysterious messages embedded into the streets of dozens of cities by a Philadelphia artist in the 1980s. The artist claimed he came across the idea of a physically constructed afterlife on Jupiter by combining a passage from Arnold Toynbee's autobiography, Experiences, with Stanley Kubrick's classic film, 2001, A Space Odyssey. The tiles filmed here are in the intersection of 24th Street and 6th Avenue. There is an unlikely Holocaust memorial tucked away in a corner of the Appellate Division Courthouse at 27 Madison Avenue. Carved into a column is a model of Auschwitz, based on a U.S. aerial reconnaissance photo taken on August 25, 
1944. The message of sculptor Harriet Fagenbaum's carving is that the U.S. knew of the camp's existence, but did nothing. Hence, the indifference. Four sections of the Berlin Wall can be found in New York City, including this one tucked away in an office building at 520 Madison Avenue, between 53rd and 54th Streets. These segments were painted in West Berlin by French artist Thierry Noir in 1985 and have been in New York since 1990.